Uh, hi, uh, my name is Ryan, Ryan Hallett. Uh, I'm a Welsh uh, gay mechanical engineer, uh, currently living in Manchester, and I work for uh, WSP Parcels Brinkerhof uh, within the energy sector. Uh, previously, I was a mechanical engineer, uh, and most recently, I've moved into business development and sales. I never actually went to university. Uh, I did a, an advanced modern apprenticeship with RWE Empower. I was, uh, was based on a power station, a large uh, 2,000 megawatt power station down in South Wales. Um, at that time, uh, I was still in the closet, so to speak, um, but I think people generally knew. Um, being an apprentice, we, uh, we all went to the same college, uh, which at first was in Doncaster and then in Rotherham. Um, great places, great experiences, and a lot of the people who I went to college with um, great guys, if, uh, um, yeah, great guys uh, and girls. Uh, we were a small year, um, but overall, we, you know, across the four years, we were a big group. Um, some fantastic experiences. I think one of the highlights of, uh, of my last year, and, and actually the last week that uh, I was there, and by this time I was, I was out to, to my friends uh, who I was on the course with, uh, was uh, another uh, engineer, a friend, a uh, colleague of mine, uh, coming out to me on the very, very last night, and that was uh, that was unexpected, uh, but, but a great feeling to, to kind of get that sense that you weren't alone. My experiences have, have changed quite uh, quite a lot over the years. You know, um, I, at first I was a mechanical fitter on a power station, and I gradually moved up into more uh, professional engineering roles. Um, Less away from, from uh, more away from the tools, and uh, and the work face, and the more more sat behind a desk, uh, which has its own benefits, uh, but completely different. There's obviously been a been a gradual shift uh, within uh, opinions of, of LGBT uh, people around the UK and, and within the world over the last uh, decade or so, and you know that's, that's gradually improving and evolving with time. Um, within the engineering environment, that's that's been the same. Um, just, I think a couple of years ago, no, probably three years ago, uh, we set up uh, an LGBT network within uh, Parsons Brinkerhof, and that's evolved now as the company's evolved and merged with WSP. So, you know, we now have a have a firm uh, LGBT network, which, you know, kind of campaigns for uh, the rights within engineering, and I suppose that awareness uh, and that that um, publicity has, has helped uh, promote uh, LGBT issues within, within the engineering workplace. I think for me, um, being LGBT, there's, there was, maybe it was in my mind, but a, an element of, of questioning by, by the people um, about my ability. So I was always, I was always trying to push myself and prove myself to people, um, whether or not that you know, was in my head or, or, or you know, it, it was a general perception that I was getting from people. But um, the people that I have worked with, uh, and I do work with now at uh, WSP Pals and Bringerhof, uh, are fantastic. We get along great. Um, I wouldn't call them colleagues, I'd call them friends. Uh, I think the most positive experience uh, was one which uh, I experienced a couple of months back um, within the Manchester office within WSP PB. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a great young uh, bunch of people and, and, and we're all very close. We've, we've been together now for some nearly four years uh, and our careers have moved forward uh, all together and we're a very, very close bunch. Uh, recently we went on a, on a little vacation to, to Budapest and uh, I only being the, the only gay one in the group um, found a very uh, relaxed, you know, you know, and, and, and almost um, one, of, one of these kind of Facebook moments where you want to kind of say uh, to the world, or you know, I'm, I'm in a club, um, I'm making friends, uh, so to speak, with a guy, and um, my other friends are making making friends with with a girl, and uh, it was just a, this kind of surreal moment where there was no difference, you know, we were all all the same. All on one level, um, I think that was that was the, one of the best moments of uh, of my career. Yeah. I think the the biggest piece of advice that I'd give to LGBT individuals entering the engineering profession would be um, just be yourself. Um, don't try and hide behind a mask. 
um, be who you are, um, and yeah, don't don't hide away, don't shy away, um, but equally uh, understand that people are different. Um, and that, that's the biggest piece of advice I give. Engineering is, is a great profession. Um, you know, I've worked on fantastic projects uh, across the world, uh, Saudi Arabia, Middle East, uh, Israel. Um, they, they, it's, it's provided me with uh, not just a fantastic career, but also a fantastic life and, and, and travel experiences, which, which all young people want today. Um, to combine those two elements, you know, within a within a job, within a within a career, and actually get paid for them, um, for, for me is one of the, the greatest advantages uh, within engineering. And also, um, uh, as, as an engineer, I have a, have a quite a large geeky side of me, so um, it, it keeps me kind of interested. And in, uh, you know, you have different challenges and problems which you have to uh, solve every day. So um, you know, besides the point that. You, know, you can work with some great individuals and great profession, uh, professionals uh, and, and actually some, you know, contribute uh, to the world, the world around us and the built environment. Uh, for me it's, it's one of the best professions you can, you can think of entering.